I talked about the genius of Leo Tolstoy in one of my previous videos. And what would you think if I tell you that he said the following words about the other great Russian author? If this boy stayed alive, neither I nor Dostoevsky would be needed. My dear friends, today I'm talking about one of my favorite authors, Mikhail Yuryevich Lermontov. Lermontov was primarily a man with a natural mindset of a melancholic. And from his childhood to adulthood, poet preferred sad motives. And when he first began to look closely at life, he reacted to this novelty not with childish ease and credulity, but with a certain distrust and fear since due to his innate nature, he foresaw and anticipated its sadness. And even the smallest question of life assumed exaggerated proportions in the eyes of the poet. Of course, in the creative activities of Lermontov, one cannot fail to see first of all the heredity traits acquired by upbringing. In the same childhood, he was exposed to many contradictory features. For example, exceptional sensitivity, spoiled by a very rich and famous grandmother, a tendency to daydreaming, as well as willfulness, restlessness, the spirit of autocracy, selfishness, insisted by a lordly upbringing, and all of this combined with a thirst for love and tenderness. It is certainly worth noting that from early childhood, Mikhail Yuryevich also developed amazing ability for analysis. It's a combination of an ardent feeling and a cold mind, which left an imprint on all of his works. Author stubbornly and persistently searched for himself in all of his works. Absolutely all of his heroes are milestones in the history of the spiritual and moral development of the poet. The heroes of his works are presented with vague but completely idealistic requirements, and they are met with many disappointments. A significant in it gift of Lermontov was the power of his imagination. In other words, the energy constrained in his life rewarded itself in the realm of a dream. The dream was ahead of poet's life, with an overwhelming task, as the author said himself. I was born so that the whole world was a beholder of my triumph or my death. It would seem that any other person with such a mental organization of the mind and such natural inclinations would either completely turn away from life or would took extremely hostile position. But Lermontov did neither of this. He did not close himself in a narrow circle of dreams, nor he flew away from earth into the realm of pure visions or logical calculations. Despite the fact that his natural inclinations constantly quarreled him with people, Lermontov nevertheless never stopped loving people in his own way. And for the entire short time of his life tried to befriend some people in such an attitude that could be justified by his moral feelings. In most of the earliest works of the author, we see the idea of the great calling, of a strong man, of the sorrows and wanderings accompanying uh, the exploits of a always rushing nature, and of female love that supports and is able to save a man from misfortune. Lermontov is one of the greatest authors who walked this earth who achieved his fame before he died, just before his 28th birthday. And his biography worth to be put it into a novel. So be sure to read at least a bit about his extraordinary life. Or let me know in the comments below if it is something of interest to you and I will create a separate video about Lermontov's life. 
Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and see you very soon in a next video.